No plan of operations extends with any certainty beyond the first contact with the main hostile force. What's up everybody, how's it going? In this video, I wanna talk about a pretty badass expression that has a lot of relevance with software engineering. And to be honest, it's got a lot of relevance with many other fields, including business and entrepreneurship, and even other aspects of life. Now for me to talk about this expression, I have to give you a bit of backstory behind it. When I was at Google, Whenever we were preparing to launch big features, we would always go through all of these steps to plan for the launch. We would have meetings where we would go over all of the launch documents, we would go over all of the tests that we had in place, all of the things that we were gonna do after the launch, and every time, one of my managers at Google, whom I really liked, always told me and the rest of our team that no plan survives contact with the enemy. No plan survives contact with the enemy. That is one badass expression. Now it turns out that this expression or this saying is actually a paraphrased version of a quote, the quote that I opened this video with, and that quote stems back all the way to the 1800s. It was said by some field marshal or chief of staff in Germany in the context of war and battles, which makes it all the more badass. So anyway, going back to Google and software engineering and why this expression is even relevant, the reason that my manager would always tell us this, that no plan survives first contact with the enemy was because no matter how much we planned, no matter how good our plan was for these big feature launches, when our features would make first contact with our end users, in this case the enemy, our plan wouldn't survive that contact. In other words, it's too difficult to predict what's going to happen when you launch a feature to plan for it. You can't predict how your users are going to react to your feature. You can't predict what their usage patterns are going to be. You can't predict what giving them access to the feature is going to make them want afterwards, because oftentimes our plans would have to do with what are we going to do after we launch? Oh, well, after we launch, we've got this roadmap. We're going to do this and that feature. Then we're going to do this because now that we've launched this feature, users are going to want that. No. No plan survives contact with the enemy. It's too hard to plan for what's going to happen after we launch our feature. And it's true, I've seen this expression materialize itself time and time again, not only when I was at Google, but also now on Algo Expert. By the way, if you're preparing for your coding interviews or your systems design interviews, check out my company, Algo Expert. Go to algoexpert.io and use the promo code CLEM, C L E M, for a discount on the platform. But so on Algo Expert, there have been many times when we've launched new features. We had these big plans in mind, this roadmap, okay, this is what we're gonna do next. This is how we think users are gonna react to these features. And and it turns out that we were very surprised, either because certain bugs popped up that we didn't account for, or users really loved the features and then they wanted more on top of those features, and our plans were just thrown out the window. And a final example of where this expression applies that's not necessarily related to software engineering or even business and entrepreneurship, YouTube. There have been many times when I've launched videos that I either thought were going to do really well, I had put a ton of effort into them, I really planned for them, I had a lot of other things coinciding with their releases, and I was like, okay, this video has potential to be viral, and it turned out that the videos didn't do that well. They were just normal videos. The plan didn't survive contact with the enemy. Other times, there were videos where my plan was that they weren't going to do super well. You know, the videos I wasn't necessarily super happy with, I didn't think that the topic was super interesting, and it turned out that the videos did do super well. And they ended up being some of my best videos. Now hopefully at this point you're convinced that this expression is not only badass, but is also relevant to software engineering and other fields and other aspects of life, but I think that there are two extra lessons that we can extract from it, especially with regards to software engineering. The first the first one is the pretty obvious one, it kind of follows from what the expression is saying, which is that you should always be ready, both mentally and physically, or as far as you know, resources that you have to allocate, or where you are in the world, whatever, you should always be ready for the unexpected after a software launch. It's not so much that you should have a plan B or a plan C, it's more that you should be ready 
to need a plan B. It should not be a surprise when shit hits the fan after your launch, or when your roadmap gets turned upside down after a launch. You should expect that. You should be ready for that. You should plan for that. That's the first lesson. The second lesson, which I think is extremely important, and this one is actually kind of liberating, you should realize that any kind of crazy perfectionism that you might have, any desire that you might have for things to be planned out perfectly, accounted for, measured, carved in stone, any of that, any self-doubts that you might have for not doing something, not launching a piece of software, a feature, because of these perfectionist feelings that you have, you can just throw away. Why? Because no plan survives contact with the enemy. Now, of course, there's a balance to strike here. This doesn't mean that you should never plan, that you should never prepare for things. No, of course not. You still want to do those things. We still did those things a lot at Google. We still do those things a lot on Algo Expert. I still do them for YouTube and all the other activities that I have in my life. But oftentimes, shipping is better than planning. Doing is better than planning. Executing is better than planning because no plan survives contact with the enemy. That's all I've got for you in this video. I personally really love this expression. Not only did I always find it super badass when my manager would tell it to us, especially in these meetings when we were preparing for our big feature launches, but I do really also think that it's very applicable to software engineering, entrepreneurship, and many other aspects of life. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, follow me on LinkedIn if you like short form written content, follow me on Twitter if you like tweets. I'm trying to get better at Twitter. I'm planning to get better at Twitter, and I will see you in the next video.